Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, I'm going to answer some of the questions that you guys have had uh, about, you know, some Islamic issues and like things like that. And uh, you've asked these questions in the comment sections of some of our videos and uh, probably on Instagram. And so I'm going to answer those questions in this video. Islam is, you know, is a religion that Muslims believe in, okay? But the thing is that Islam literally means submission to Allah, submission to God. So anyone who submits himself or herself to God or Allah, as we say as Muslims, that person can be called a Muslim. But technically, a Muslim is a person who believes in the religion of Islam, meaning the religion that Prophet Muhammad brought, and, you know, so we have different laws in Islam. We have, for example, we have the Shahada. They have to believe in one God. They have to believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. We have to pray. We have to, you know, give zakat and the other rulings of Islam. That's what a Muslim is. And Islam is the religion of Muslims. But, you know, in the past, we have in the Quran that uh, the other prophets and the other religions were also Islam because they submitted themselves to Allah, right? So actually, Prophet Ibrahim or Abraham, in the Quran we see that he was the one who gave the name Muslim to his followers. So we believe as Muslims that all the prophets were Muslims. They all submitted themselves to God. But they weren't, you know, the religion of Prophet Muhammad didn't exist at that time, but they submitted themselves to Allah. And by the way, we have a video about this question that you guys have asked. And if you want, you can watch it right here. You know, that's actually a really good question. Um, Islam respects other religions, okay? So, like, we don't say that, oh, you have to become a Muslim. And we don't, like, enforce Islam, impose Islam on others, and say, you know, we get a knife and put it to their throat and say, hey, you have to become a Muslim or else I'll kill you. No, that's not how Islam deals with other religions and followers of other religions. And uh, so, you know, Allah has said in the Quran, لا إكراه في الدين There is no compulsion in religion. قَدْ تَبَيَّنَ الرُّشْتُ مِنَ الْغَيْبِ Allah has made it clear what guidance is and what misguidance and error is. You know, so everything is clear. We have to make the choice ourselves. But if you become a Muslim, then you have to accept certain things. You can't say that, okay, لا إكراه في الدين no, you're a Muslim now. You have to follow Islam. But the thing is, the question is asking how we treat other religions. Well, Islam respects other religions, especially, you know, the Abrahamic religions like Christianity, Judaism, and some say Zoroastrianism is also a, an Abrahamic religion. But the point is that Islam, uh, in this regard, it's not a violent religion. Okay, Islam respects other religions. Okay, I'm pretty sure everyone knows who Prophet Muhammad is right now because, you know, they can just do one search on the internet and find out who Prophet Muhammad is. Prophet Muhammad is the last prophet and messenger of Islam. Okay, we as Muslims, we believe in certain prophets. We believe... Uh, in Prophet Adam, Prophet Noah, uh, Prophet Abraham, Prophet Moses, Jesus. And we believe that the last prophet is Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad, he brought the religion of Islam. Islam was not like a, you know, a totally new religion that had nothing to do with the previous religions. No, Islam perfected the previous religions and introduced certain new things, of course. And uh, so it was Prophet Muhammad, the last prophet of Allah, who brought Islam. The significance of the Quran. The Quran is 
the book of Allah, which was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his progeny. So why is it significant? Because it's the word of Allah verbatim. You know, it's not like Prophet Muhammad made it up. No, it's not the word of Prophet Muhammad. It's the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that makes it very significant. So we have uh, the Quran is a book of, it's a book of life. It's a book of even science. It's a book of laws. It's a book of ethics. It's a book of science. It covers like many different topics. And that is why the Quran is significant. By the way, guys, we have a video about this question that you've asked. And if you, if you want to watch it, just click here. Okay, the pillars of Islam. Okay, uh, pillars of Islam are basically, uh, we have shahada, we have salah, we have zakah, we have saum, which is fasting, and of course we have the hajj pilgrimage. Why are they important? Because they are the pillars of Islam, basically. So if you're a Muslim, you have to do these five things. You have to say the shahada, you have to bear witness, that there is only one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And we have prayer, of course. That's like one of the, uh, uh, you know, the most remarkable sign of a Muslim is that they pray five times a day. So prayer is also a pillar of Islam. And uh, we also have zakah, which is, you know, we have two kinds of zakah, by the way. We have a recommended zakah and we also have a wajib or obligatory zakah. Both are important. Helping the needy, spending in the way of Allah is really important in the religion of Islam and that's why it's a pillar of Islam. Then we have Saum which is fasting. Again fasting is one of the uh, you know remarkable signs of a Muslim because all Muslims they must fast during the month of Ramadan, okay, and it's wajib on them to fast. And we have Hajj pilgrimage. The Hajj pilgrimage is also very important. Uh, it's wajib to do it only once in your life, and it's only obligatory and wajib if you have the necessary funds, if you can afford it, it would be wajib. Otherwise, if you don't have enough money to go on the Hajj pilgrimage, it's not wajib for you to go on the Hajj pilgrimage. And so these were the five pillars of Islam. Okay, by the way, guys, we have a playlist which is about things that non-Muslims can know about Islam by watching that playlist. And you can watch it by clicking right here. That's a very controversial question. Some say that, oh no, they're totally haram because, you know, uh, Muslims shouldn't be doing that. And tattoos like, uh, they, they, you, don't, you don't look like a Muslim if you do a tattoo, if you have a tattoo. But the truth is that in Islam, having a tattoo is not necessarily forbidden. It's not haram, okay? So perhaps like uh, we have a woman who wants to do a tattoo on her eyebrows. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. Why is it okay? Because even if you do, if you, you know, even if you have a tattoo, uh, when you do wudu, when you make wudu and when you do ghus, water still reaches the skin. Okay, so... The thing is, the ruling is that if water does not reach the skin by having a tattoo, by doing a tattoo, that would be prohibited. That would be haram. But the thing is, and for tattoos, no. Water reaches. But you know, guys, some people, they cover their whole bodies with tattoos. Is that acceptable? I mean, ethically for a Muslim to have tattoos all over his arm, to be covered with all kinds of tattoos? It's not what, how a Muslim should look like, you know. So it's not acceptable, even though it might not be haram. Now the piercings. Piercing is a different story. 
piercing for women, we usually we usually have the ears and we have the nose. And of course, nowadays they do like lips, okay? Piercings are not, again, prohibited per se, okay? But the thing is that women, they have to make sure that they don't show their jewelry, their earrings, okay, or their nose ring to the non-mahram men, okay, after doing the piercing. And for men, is piercing halal or not? The ruling is that if a man looks like a woman by doing a piercing, by having piercings, it's, it's haram. Okay, so if like a man has, pierces his ears and wears earrings and looks like a woman, that would be haram. Otherwise, it's halal. Now you guys know that this issue is really, uh, a lot of people ask this question and want to know about this issue. So if you want us to make uh, a dedicated video about this issue, just leave it in the comments below. Okay guys, that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we're going to have more of these kinds of videos in the future. And uh, if you really like us to continue making these videos, please support us by liking and subscribing. Thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one.